Hey YouTube, how you doing? Just thought I'd do a video. Trying to make this video is like pulling teeth. Every time I do this, I get interrupted. Well, let's try this. I have, how am I doing? I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm in the crossroads, I guess. When it comes, motivation wise, I'm doing about a thousand times better than I was. Um. Well, I have good news. I'm now working with the Eating Disorder Foundation of Canada, and I'll put the site below in details. Um, there's a spokesperson advocacy to get funding going on their program of wanting to get going in Ontario. She's working with my old doctor and working with some great people and telling my story. And it's a big event on November 18th in London, Ontario. At a fundraiser dinner. Some big government people are going to be there, so hopefully we'll get them on our side and get the funding going. I'm excited. To, um, I'm excited to tell my story and get my word out and really make a difference. I was giving motivation. I was such in a whole place, a horrible place, mentally, physically, both. Um, a couple weeks ago, about a week ago now, and I got the email on Sunday, on Wednesday, to be a guest speaker. But nothing's finalized yet on the program. I'm going to be there on the 18th, so I'm not sure if I'm speaking out to in front of everybody or if I'm just going to be um, talking to the government privately and at the table or stuff. But I'm still be, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be, I still be a special guest. Um, but I am still struggling. I'm more motivated for recovery, but I'm really struggling trying to get back on track. Um, I'm struggling trying to stop the behaviors, trying to stop the diet, but I just, part of me still wants to lose weight and just lose weight and it's all matters. Still purging. Not as much, but I did the other day, yesterday. Um, doing a lot of restricting still. But I'm, I'm excited that I'm motivated to at least get better, but I just don't know how to stop the disorder behaviors when I have no treatment team here that really understands eating disorders or treats it or even is educated on them. Um, as I was telling the doctor in London who I'm working with on the foundation is there's no one educated, like, they, they, they want to fix my problem by putting me on another diet and another regime, and I'm like, you can't fight eating disorder by putting on a specialized diet. It just doesn't work, and I'm so frustrated with my team right now that, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, we just really need to get these programs running that I'm working with the foundation on. So please, if you can donate a little bit of money or donate your volunteer your time. But the website, is, I warn you now, is not very good, but they're still working on it. It's very basic. But please feel free to email them if you can, or you're interested in helping or you're interested in donating anything. Um, there are a great set of people who are running it. So please um, support us and we're doing really good. Yeah, and we're going to have some really good and tell us about the details about what kind of program we're looking to get going in Ontario. Because Ontario really locks. Now Canada really locks when it comes to when it comes to treating eating disorders and understanding eating disorders. It's still very taboo, very un misunderstood. Not much available for treatment. I mean, one program I've been, I've been waiting three years and I've still got another year to wait. So I'm like, if I wasn't, if I was anorexic and underweight, people would die waiting for these programs. In in this North American day and age, no one should die waiting for treatment if they want it. Um, and like people know, eating disorders are the deadly, most deadly form of any mental illness out there. And I've had every eating disorder um, behavior out there from binge eating to bulimia 
to anorexic tendencies and I run the gamut and I'm not the atypical case but I'm still in disorder patient so please support us and I'm looking forward to giving you more updates in the event and I will continue to fight but I feel very alone right now talk to you later bye